Welcome to Good Night Tales. Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived in a cosy little house in the forest. There was Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and their little baby, Baby Bear. One morning, Mama Bear made a big pot of delicious porridge for breakfast. Hmm, Mama Bear, that porridge smells amazing. Thank you, but it's way too hot to eat right now. We'll need to wait for it to cool down. Oh no, I'm so hungry. Can't we eat it now? Patience, little one. How about we go for a walk while we wait? That's a great idea. The porridge will be just right by the time we get back. Yay, let's go! So the three bears went for a walk in the forest, leaving their steaming bowls of porridge behind to cool. Meanwhile, a little girl named Goldilocks was wandering through the forest. Goldilocks had flowing golden hair that shimmered like sunshine, with soft curls that bounced as she walked. Her sparkling blue eyes widened when she saw the bear's cottage, and being curious, she decided to step inside. Being curious, she knocked on the door. No one answered, but the door was slightly open, so she peeked inside and entered. Inside the house, Goldilocks saw three bowls of porridge on the table. Feeling hungry, she tasted the porridge from the biggest bowl, which belonged to Papa Bear. Ouch! This porridge is too hot! Next, she tried the porridge from the medium-sized bowl, which belonged to Mama Bear. Ew! This porridge is too cold! Finally, she tasted the porridge from the smallest bowl, which belonged to Baby Bear. Mmm, this porridge is just right! She said happily and ate it all up. After finishing the porridge, Goldilocks felt tired and looked around for somewhere to rest. She saw three chairs, a big chair, a medium-sized chair and a small chair. She tried sitting in the big chair first. This chair is too hard! Next, she sat in the medium-sized chair. This chair is too soft! She said. Then she tried the small chair. This chair is just right. But as soon as she sat down, the chair broke into pieces. Oh no! Feeling even more tired, Goldilocks decided to go upstairs to find a place to sleep. She saw three beds. A big bed, a medium-sized bed and a small bed. First, she lay down on the big bed. This bed is too hard, she said. Then she tried the medium-sized bed. This bed is too soft. Finally, she lay down on the small bed. Ah, this bed is just right. And soon she fell fast asleep. While Goldilocks was sleeping, the three bears returned from their walk. They immediately noticed that something was wrong. Papa Bear noticed his bowl was disturbed. Someone's been eating my porridge. He said with a deep, growly voice. Someone's been eating my porridge too, Mama Bear exclaimed. And someone's been eating my porridge, and they've eaten it all up. Baby Bear cried, staring sadly at his empty bowl. <laughs> Bears looked around and noticed the chairs. Someone's been sitting in my chair. He said with a deep, growly voice. Someone's been sitting in my chair too, Mama Bear exclaimed. Someone's been sitting in my chair, and they've broken it to pieces. <laughs> Finally, the bears went upstairs to check the bedroom. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, he said with a deep, growly voice. Someone's been sleeping in my bed too, Mama Bear exclaimed. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, and she's still there. <laughs> Goldilocks woke up with a start, seeing the three bears standing over her. She screamed, jumped out of bed, and ran as fast as her little legs could carry her out of the cottage and into the forest. So just outside the house, Goldilocks bumped into her parents, who were frantically searching for her. They looked super worried and were like, we had no idea where you went. 
Goldilocks immediately launched into the whole story. Her parents explained that she had done many wrong things. First, you wandered away from home without informing us, and that too, alone. Then you entered someone else's house without their knowledge, ate their food, and broke their furniture. You should immediately apologize to the Bear family. Realizing her mistake, Goldilocks apologized Ed to the Bear family, who readily forgave her. She returned home with her parents, and the Bears never saw her again. From that day forward, Goldilocks promised herself she would never sneak into someone else's house again. And the three bears lived happily ever after, always careful to lock their door before going for a walk. <laughs>